Thank you. Which time do you My name is Kirk Allen. I'm co-founder of the Edgar County Watchdogs. And I just wanted to first off reference in your agenda, you have a policy in regards to your Open Meetings Act. You outline that we're required to give our name and our address. I would ask that you contact the Attorney General or I can provide you the rulings. Uh, you are not allowed to ask for our address. Uh, doing so stifles the freedom of speech. And I'd appreciate if you would amend that in the future and take that off because some people will see that and they won't come to a meeting because they don't want people to know where they live. And that's why the Attorney General ruled on that. In regards to some comments I heard, and I don't know who it was, I, I absolutely applaud everybody that's come to this meeting tonight. As a veteran, I'll fight and die for your right to be heard because that's what our system of government is about. I also would encourage that the passion that you folks have here tonight, bring it to not just this topic. Representative Ives referenced the College of DuPage. In less than six months, I identified well into a million dollars of fraud and corruption. Iroquois County found in excess of five million dollars of fraud and corruption. And I could go on for hours of all the places that we've identified fraud and corruption in our public bodies. Spending money that we're not supposed to be spending on certain things. And no matter what your position on this policy, I guarantee you wherever you're from, your tax dollars are being used statewide. When you say this gentleman shouldn't be here from Cook County, you know what? His tax dollars got spent here just like mine got spent up there. And the same with the College of DuPage and the same with EIU. And, and Southern Illinois, you name it, it's happening everywhere. Now, my family is from Edgar County. I'm, I can not very proudly say Edgar County is probably the most corrupt county in the state of Illinois, and we've got the proof to bear it. But they're not alone. I've been to hundreds and hundreds of public meetings, and I've looked at hundreds of financials all over this state, and I can tell you no public body is immune from the inappropriate spending. Most of it is over time, we just do this because, well, we've always done it that way. Universities that are, I went to NIU two weeks or three weeks ago. There had to be a thousand dollar spread of food for a board meeting. Do you taxpayers want to pay for food for board meetings? You shouldn't have to, but that's what's happening. And it's happening everywhere. And to say that we don't have a revenue problem, or we'll say it's a revenue problem, I'm here to tell you, we can identify nine out of ten times we got a spending problem. We really do. And it's not just about right to work. It's about everything that's going on with your local public bodies. Thank you for my time. Thank you.